struggling with debt, bills, loans, credit cards, need a way out? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt matters. This is Hugo Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by somewhere in the Ukraine. Kiev. What? what? Kiev, Kiev. Uh, Dave yeah, Allen. Yeah. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Just uh, acclimatising to Kiev. Um, so, yeah, we're two days deep now, so we're all right. So, when was you approached about the sparring you're having for uh, Arizona first? I'm not really sure because uh, the fellow WhatsApped me and I thought, I've got my number. So I think they may have tried to get me over March time, I think, for the original day. I think so anyway, because he WhatsApped me. So he must have my number from discussing uh, Swan and Yusuf before. So um, he then recontacted me um, last week. Okay. It was all sorted, all sorted in 10 minutes, everything sorted, flights, everything. Uh, and and I think two days later, I was on the plane when we are here. Um, so, you did your first session, today, Tuesday, uh, you did your yeah. first session with him yesterday. How many rounds did you do? did five rounds yesterday. Um, but uh, he just going through the gears yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't... He was having a look. I said he was having a look as well. So um, he moves. You know, what I mean, he moves really well. It's worrying though because I know for a fact I'm looking at him, me, and I'm thinking you're playing with me right now. So um, I was trying to hold a little bit back as well because um, got five spars left, and they're going to get a lot harder than yesterday. I know that. So yeah. Do you feel like he was just like easing you in yesterday as you have just arrived? Yeah, I think he's having a look, you know. I think he's having a look. Uh, I, 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 I really enjoyed it. It went well. I sparred well. Hopefully, they got what they wanted out of it. Uh, but you know, the truth is, I'm here for me. You know, I'm, I'm here for me as, and, ho and hopefully, I'm helping them as well. But I, I'm here to get the most out of it for myself more than anything else. So hopefully, I do. Hopefully, I am helping them and and and, and helping them do what they want to do. But. I'm here for me, really. So uh, I'm happy anyway. We are. You're right there. I mean, you, you can't buy that kind of experience, can you? For you to go out there and, and spar someone like Usyk. I mean, you've been yeah. in a bit much during your career, but to spar someone like Usyk and gain that experience to benefit your career, you can't buy that. No, I'm a big Usyk fan. You know, when they got in touch, uh, as a big boxing fan that I am, you know, when, when they want to pay me to come go to the Ukraine, country I've never been to it was a great experience it was better before I got here because it's not the greatest place I've ever been to to be honest where I'm staying I can't really fit in the bed and I'm starving but apart from that it's great so to be offered the chance to, to have this experience I don't mind being hungry I don't mind where I am because it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life I was going oh Ukraine I go yeah God, yeah that would have been mad two weeks so I don't, I don't really mind it so much and I'm a big Usyk fan so and I'm still an active heavyweight, so the, the chance to spar one of the best fighters on the planet is, is fantastic and getting paid and everything on top of that is a bonus. So it's not something I could say no to. At this time in my life now, I realise you've got to be a little bit more selfish to get where you want to get to. So I'm here and I'm glad I'm here. So you're there for two weeks? Yeah, two weeks, yeah. Do you spar every other day, basically, and have a, like a rest day in between? Is that what you do? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sparring, yeah, train today. There's a, another heavyweight here, Ukrainian heavyweight, he's a nice bloke. So we went to the gym together earlier. Um, and then I come home for nine days, hopefully see Jamie in the in the time in between. Uh, and then I've got three weeks, so I was on the Povetkin in Russia as well. Um, You're going to spar Povetkin, yeah? Yeah, three weeks in Russia. I spoke to Eddie last night. Two possible fights. Obviously, I only have one fight, but two possible opponents. So, hopefully, two weeks you sit for you to back and come back and I should have a fight. So, on what card? Crossed. On the white Pavekin card? Uh, on a card, I guess, on 
a, a card in November or December. I don't know which. I was just told. Well, your pay per view date, so it'll be on a pay per view show. Pay per view, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'd just be glad to box. I'd be, I'd be happy to box anyway, to be honest. So, um, I spoke to Eddie last night. I don't know what I can say and can't say, obviously. I, don't, I won't give any names away, but one of them is cousins with Tyson Fury, and the other one's Chinese, and he's massive. So, um, what was yeah, that? I yeah, I can't say anything, obviously, but obviously I can give you a little hint. I'm not sure if they help, but, but yeah. Well, so. they've announced uh, Zhang as a, a signing, haven't they? So. Yeah, is that, I mentioned Zhang and, and Huey Fury again, and, and I just said, look, I said, I don't, uh, these fights are all right being offered a fight, yeah, but a lot of people lately saying, oh, Dave Allison, and this time and that now. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm going to turn down if the money's not very good or there's not much time to train. So don't be offering me fights unless you know for a fact that the offer's fair. Because I'm sick of being told that I'm turning this down, I'm turning that down. I'm not turning no fight down. I turned some of the offers, some of the, uh, some of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I turned down the uh, the deal that comes with it, but I'm not turning down no fight. So I said to him, look, the Zhang fight for me is very appealing. I said, yeah, I like that fight a lot. I'm the best uh, southpaw in the world. So I'll come back and fight Jean after the Vikings spa, yeah. So I'm hopeful that can happen. Huey Fury said to me a couple of weeks ago that he's just not interested in this fight with you no more because it's been kind of, it's been longed out or whatever. Um, yeah. So, but Eddie is, I could imagine Eddie still wants to make that fight regardless. Yeah, I, I said to him about the Huey Fury fight. I said, yeah, I said, fine. Ed, that's completely fine. But, me, I, I said to him, I said, I know what's going on with the current climate and the money and stuff, but look, I know what, I know what's what. And um, I said, look, if that fight's gone and not going to happen, I fight, I fight Zhang. So uh, I think where we're at right now is that I'm hopeful of boxing, uh, boxing Zhang. Um, but we'll see. Here. I'm not, I'm not fussy really. I'm just, I'd just be happy to box anybody. I've got no, got no hard feelings to anyone. I just want to box, so if we can box and everything makes sense for me and the other fella in the ring, then amazing. Let's, let's hope it happens. Just coming back to your sparring with Usyk, I know you've only done kind of one session in those five rounds, but I mean, his movement, his power, how would you describe that in sparring? He, um, so he comes in the gym, so he walks in the gym, we're in the gym. And he puts Tina Turner on. So all of a sudden, I, I'm, I'm rating this one. Yeah, big Tina Turner fan. Bit of Whitney comes on. So first of all, he's a big fan of the old 80s. Uh, I don't know what would you call him. Uh, Whitney and Tina Turner. Amazing. So anyway, I'm looking at him. Comes over. Says, welcome to the Ukraine. Hope you're well today. Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, so anyway, he gets ready. He's warming up. He has a little, he's having a little bit of a dance and stuff. Really nice fellow though, just a genuinely nice bloke, you know what I mean? People look at him and think he's just a bit mad or whatever. Probably a bit eccentric, but he's really nice. So anyway, Tina Turner's blasting out. So I'm sat there thinking, oh, good. So I'm getting warmed up and they said, all right, David, you're going to do the first couple of rounds. I said, okay. And um, so I'm in there with him and, and the first round, he's like, he's not really trying to hit me, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, what, what's going on here? So um, somewhere in the first round, I thought, you know what, you're, I thought, well, I'm going to hit you anyway. I can count as move on. I thought, all right, that's the game we're playing. So, um, uh, I'm here to do a job for them. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm here to keep as many brain cells as I... I want as many brain cells as I left the UK with. I want to go about the same amount, if, if possible. So, um, I just I just boxed. I just boxed him and he boxed me. And there was me and there was two of the sparring partners. And I was really happy with what happened. And I think they was as well. So, um <laughs> The key is I come home with not a mark on me and I give him good work and I learn from it. And as long as that happens, I, I'm happy. But his feet, his feet are incredible. You know, I think him and Tyson, him and Tyson Fury, the, 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 two, the two best fighters for, for, for movement and his, his reflexes are incredible. You know, the fight with Derek's going to be, going to be hard for him. He's going to be a lot of natural size. But... Uh, Having watched Derek box Tyson the second time when Tyson was a southpaw and just moved and just chipped away at him, you know, you can see something similar happening in the Usyk fight, but uh, Derek's looked good lately, so 
so you don't know. But, uh, but Usyk, he's, uh, he's good. And he's only going to get better. And that's what worries me. Um, what do you do in the days where you're not sparring there, then? What do you actually do? Do you just, like, wander about? I turned up Sunday. I got picked up at the airport. I'm at the Ukraine Olympic base. So, anyway, coming through the big gates and that. No one's really spoke much English yet. I've not had a, I've not, I've not had a full conversation in English yet. I've seen some some bird on the on the thing like I think she cleans and she spoke a bit of German, so got me German out for her, and uh, that was all right. Um, so the first day I turned there was no Wi-Fi for twenty four hours. I spent fifty one pound fifty in data from the airport to the hotel somehow and said you're not allowed to use anymore. So. So I'm here on my phone texting my sister at 50p a text saying, Danielle, the fuck's going off? What am I doing? I don't have a clue what's going on. What time am I sparring tomorrow? Because if Wi-Fi don't come on, I'm knackered. I ain't got a clue what's going on. So the Wi-Fi got sorted. So we're all right now on airplane mode just in case because day, <laughs> day is doing me over here. I don't know what's going on. So the Wi-Fi is sorted. So we're good for Wi-Fi now. Can't ring anybody though because it's £2.50 a minute. So my sister told me don't ring nobody. I said, all right, so... So my dad's got WhatsApp now. So anyway, his voice never moved too much to do midi. Anyway, so that's sorted now. The single bed situation with the sheet, that's sorted. They put me a proper sheet on now and some pillowcases, so I'm can feeling more confident about sleep. Can we have a look Pardon? at the Pardon? Can we have a look at the bed? If I can flip the camera around. There we go. So there's the bed there. So it's, it's not amazing, but it's all right. I don't mind... I'm not really, I'm not really a fussy man to be honest. Oh, but when it comes to when it comes to the food, I am fussy. So the food's not been amazing. Um, the, the the little cafe place don't take my card. So I've been quite hungry to be honest. But uh, but hopefully, hopefully that'll improve as well. I've been making animal noises to to distinguish what what meat is what. So we're making progress. What. Aaron, can you just give us an example of what you mean by that? We know what you mean by that, but what have you been doing it? Well, I got here and the woman was there and I said to her, I was just saying to her, I said, what's this? I said, what is it? And anyway, she said some word and I said, so is it meat? She nodded and read it me, so I went, right, chicken. And she's going, I don't know. And I said, pork. Anyway, so in the end, like that, so I'm oinking at her, right? I'm oinking at her. I'm a pig. And she went, oh, no, 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 no. I said, all right. I said, chicken. So I went, what? So I'm making all these animal noises. So, oh, yeah. so anyway, we distinguished that it was it were chicken anyway. And it was quite nice, to be honest. So uh, what I do, they bring my food out. I get all the stuff I like, put it on the plate. And I go into wash it. And then I get into run it under the tap. So it's all right. It's an experience, isn't it? It's, uh, I'm very fortunate to be here. So if the food's not great and... You know, I'm, I'm, I can't fit in the bed. It's a small price to pay. Yes, I agree. So you've only been there literally two or three days now. So it feels like we're near three months though. So, uh, so it's nice. <laughs> but I've got twelve days left. Twelve days left. Five spars left. Um, home for nine days and after Moscow for three weeks. So I, uh, I can't complain. I've never been. I've never left the country so I'm nearly twenty three. So I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a lot of the world the last five years of boxing. So I'm very fortunate. So, but I can't wait to get home when I've had KFC or something. If we're allowed, I don't know what's going on at home with the lockdown, but I'll find one somehow. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be all right for a KFC. Um, all right. Well, look, I'd like to kind of yeah, maybe get get you back towards the end of it and just this is at the start and kind of you can after your last session, if you like, kind of get. Yeah. Up. Yeah, I, I know he's. I know he's going to get better. You know, he's. Uh, I know he's going to get a lot better. Spine's going to get a lot harder. Um, but well, I'm enjoying it though. I'm enjoying it. So I want to get some fight news as well. That'll, that'll give me a bit of extra oomph. Uh, but uh, but all, all, all's going well. You know, all's going well. I'm not really picking up the language, but uh, learning new things all the time. I, I might have a little tip for you, right? Have you got an iPhone? Yeah. Have you done yeah. the new iOS update? No, I don't I don't I don't really believe in technologies to be honest. No, I'll tell you why, right? 
if you do the new iOS update, and I did it the other day, right? They've, they've put an app on here called Translate, right? I'll show you it there. Yeah, people told me, but people told me, but I don't, I don't believe in it. I don't, I want to, I want to do it the proper old fashioned way. It's nothing to believe. You just, you talk into it. So I would like a chicken sandwich, and then it will speak that to hmm. whoever you're talking to when you type in the language. It actually works. But, but if, if, I, if I would have done that the other day, me and that woman wouldn't be mates now because she wouldn't have laughed at me making animal noises. I don't want it. I don't, if, it if it was that easy, it wouldn't be worth having. I want it. I want to have that then. You everything want. I do, I want to earn it. Oh, fair enough. Then. Yeah, because you, you make good relationships with me. Yeah. Me, me and the Ukrainian fellow, the other boxer, I talk to him sometimes. He ain't got a clue what I'm saying. He talks back in Ukrainian a little bit. And I like to think that he's making a conversation up his head. Sometimes I'm making my own conversation up with him. I'll say something, he'll reply. I don't really know what he said, but then I'll carry it on. So we, we haven't got a clue what he was saying, but it's just funny, isn't it? But I need some butter. I'm going to find out the word for butter in, in Ukrainian and get some butter. So I, I need some butter for my bread. The bread's hard work, over it's like, it's, like, uh, it's like cardboard. But... Um, I like the challenge though, you know what I mean? I'm enjoying it, I like it. It was like when I went to Poland the first time. No one spoke English for a week, but uh, but it was good. All right, okay. Well, listen, keep yourself safe out there and, uh, yeah, get your work done and uh, come home unmarked, hopefully. You'll not see a mark on me when I get home. I'm, uh, I'm like the English um, James Tony. Okay. Which may not, which may not be great as he is right now, but I ain't getting it. Is what I'm saying this week or next. Okay, like I said, we'll we'll pick it back up when uh, when you finish your last session. We will do for sure. Okay, Dave Allen, thank you very much for a little bit of your time and uh, enjoy Ukraine. And um, thank you very much. We'll catch up with you soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. And with that. Bills, loans, credit cards. Need a way out? Knock your debt out. With Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt matters.